Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Today I'm bringing you a quick news burst for all the upcoming zombies changes in Black Ops Cold War Season 1. I'm sure you guys have already seen the news about Jingle Hells, Cranked, and some of the upcoming changes, but today we get to actually see it all thanks to a new release from Treyarch. They also specifically mentioned that they're really looking for community feedback on this, so as I go through these guys, leave your thoughts about it all in the comments down below. Before we get started, I want to share a quick word from today's sponsors and friends of the channel, Asus ROG. They sent me a stack of new gear to upgrade my setup with a few weeks ago, including a headset, mouse, mouse pad, and keyboard. And the keys on that keyboard are using ROG RX red switches, which have a really nice linear response and great tactile feedback as well. If you want to buy any of these for yourself, click the link in the description down below and use the code on screen for money off at checkout. And thanks once again to Asus ROG. The first change I want to show you some gameplay of is the cruise missile. This is not replacing the chopper gunner, but they liken it to the chopper gunner in that it can clear out an entire area at once and you control it via a laptop. This to me is really interesting Thing because the laptop controlled score streaks give you iframes. You're invincible for a certain amount of time while you're controlling them, while you're inside them, etc. And as such, what I imagine this might be really useful for is basically just having on your person as a player at pretty much all times in case you get overwhelmed so you can just pull something out to instantly stop the zombies from aggroing you and save yourself in sticky situations. It will obviously depend on the cost and obviously the chopper gunner itself is going to be a really attractive choice for late game as well when you've got loads of salvage but this might be something that you can just stock up on a lot more easily and keep yourself that much more safe. So yes, the zombie killing aspect of it is cool, but I think that the invincibility is also worth paying attention to. Next up, we have daily and seasonal challenges, also known as basically the newer version of the callings system from BO4. The way this seems to work is you have three active at a given time, which you can see selected in the daily challenges part of the menus just here. Then you can replace certain ones of these challenges with others that are more suited to your preference or play style. I personally really like the look of this system. It looks like they're not going super low on the XP front. It's giving you a decent chunk of XP and the challenges themselves are reasonably achievable, like turning on the power or getting eliminations with shotguns and it's not an unrealistic number. 200 in a game is not that bad or just getting elite takedowns as well. Now, would I prefer a system where I could have all of these challenges active at once and do them all in one game instead of only being able to have three active at a time? Maybe, honestly, yeah. I mean, they reset every single day, and what I feel like a lot of people are going to end up doing is basically starting a game, doing three challenges, like, really fast in the first 16 rounds or something, and then just resetting to get more challenges. And I think that that just harms the kind of player experience. It doesn't seem like it adds any value, limiting these to three being active at a time, in my opinion. But maybe I'm missing something here. Also, Treyarch, something that I really want to put more focus on. I mentioned it in another video about patch notes, and I'm mentioning it here too until it gets implemented. We need to be able to check challenge progress in-game easily. Give us an optional HUD element that we can toggle on that gives us up-to-date information about how far we are along in a given challenge. It could be a daily challenge like one of these, or it could be a headshot challenge that we're working towards. Maybe we need a certain number of elites for a camo, something like that. Please let us track those better in-game because right now, having to do it all in the menus and having to check weapon XP that we've earned by going to create a class and looking at an ambiguous bar is just not it. So that's something that I would absolutely love to see implemented in the future. And I think if you guys agree and you make your voices heard in the comments down below, Treyarch will surely listen. This is still great stuff though, having the challenges there in the first place, so props Treyarch for doing that. Now then, let's take a look at the new modes. We're going to start with Cranked here. This is inspired by the MP version of Cranked that you guys are probably familiar with. It basically puts your life on a constant 30 second timer, and if you get a kill on a zombie, you reset the timer, but if the timer gets to zero, you die. And so you basically have to optimize the way that you play to constantly be getting kills. And honestly, this might be really, really fun, or it might be absolutely tragic in my opinion. I think that probably the reason that this is coming later in the season is because A, they don't want to give us two themed modes right at the same time at season one launch, but also I think that they're probably tuning it right now to make it as fun as they possibly can. And that's 100% the way to go in my opinion, because like this is going to rely on some really well-designed gameplay loops basically being added 
added to the game or being tweaked to fit the mode itself. And so Treyarch, I mean, I'm hopeful you can deliver on this one. I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, though, we are getting Jingle Hells. And at first, people thought this was just going to be a couple of cosmetics here and there, and that would be it. And I saw people moaning in my Twitter mentions and all over the place saying, Treyarch are literally just changing some textures and that's it. So lazy, not enough content. I'm not happy, right? And thankfully, I get to be the bearer of good news here because it actually looks like that's not the case at all. Jingle Hells is a new thematic version of D Machine where the Megaton has taken the mystery box and flown away with it in Santa's sleigh, which is incredible, by the way. And instead of using the box to get your guns, you're now going to use snowballs that have been dotted around the map to freeze zombies. And then those frozen zombies, when killed, will have a chance to drop a naughty or nice present. That's basically a new kind of power up. Those presents can be good or bad. That's why they're called naughty or nice. And if they're bad, it'll be things like coal or might even spawn in a zombie. Or if they're good, it will spawn in things like maybe you'll get a ray gun. Maybe you'll get a power up of some kind. Maybe you'll get some other bonus. It doesn't end there though as well. They've also got snowmen added to the map and things like that, which at first look like they're just a cosmetic change, but they actually can turn into zombies. And it seems like there are all sorts of other changes coming too that are inspired by the fact that it's the Christmas holiday season, etc. But also that actually transform the game mode in some way. This isn't just going to be, oh, it's snowing a little bit more now in D-Machine cool, that's it. And the zombies have Christmas hats on the end. No, there is going to be stuff in here to interact with new systems, essentially, that we have never seen before. And this, I think, unless I'm mistaken, might be like the first time this has ever happened in a zombies mode. I don't think there's ever been an instance, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but in the past where we've had a regular version of a map, like 9, for instance, and then all of a sudden the actual systems within the map itself are changed just by by virtue of the fact that it's the holiday season. That's incredibly cool to me. It's content that I never thought would be getting in this mode, but it's coming and that makes me super duper excited. So once again, I want to give Treyarch massive props for doing something innovative here. Really, really cool. I should also mention just before I forget as well, actually, that Onslaught's going to be getting new maps in case you guys are interested in that. Uh, the Pines is coming at the start of the season and then Raid is coming later in the season. Now, I want to quickly just drill into one thing that could be done with Jingle Hells and it remains to be seen whether or not they'll execute this, but I think would just bring the entire thing to the next level, right? We've got a load of Easter eggs in D-Machine. We've also got a few Easter eggs that have been unsolved as of yet. Now, Treyarch, please do not make the mistake of making, for example, the ghost monkeys in the dark ether Easter egg solvable only during this limited time event. I think that that would suck so much. But I do think that new Easter eggs of some kind, even if they are absolutely tiny things, would be so good for the health of the community and just everyone's enjoyment of this limited time mode. For instance, you've got all these snowmen in the map now. What if we shoot all the heads of the snowmen? Can it trigger something? Alternatively, maybe this would be even more simple if you just add some sound files of the Megaton as Santa planning his trip around the world to give everyone presents instead of planning the kind of corruption of the world through the dark Ether. Like, you could do so many fun little things here, and adding a couple sound files surely is a very low impact Easter egg. That wouldn't be something that I would imagine would need heaps and heaps of dev time. You would just be like changing an ambient sound file in a certain area, or maybe on an Easter egg step or something. You could just make it so that the sound is available there and it's not available elsewhere so it doesn't impact the gameplay too much. Like, there are so many ways you could do this. Treyarch, I would love to see some exclusive Easter eggs. Please, I'm on my knees begging for this one. It would be so damn cool. I should also mention that the next zombies map, the next new map, is going to be coming at the start of season two. We don't need to worry about it being mid-season. They've confirmed it's start of season, so that should be in February, which is really exciting. Now, in terms of naming stuff, are we going to be calling that map DLC 2? Because season one is basically a DLC at this point. Like, there is significant content here, and so I'm kind of leaning towards that being called DLC 2, but at the same time, we've always called the first map DLC 1, so maybe it's confusing. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. I'm going to wrap the news up here. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.